Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. Hey guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this showcase video. Striking from the shadows in this awesome showcase, we've got a Raven Guard Force with loads of really, really cool miniatures. Uh, as always, we're going to start with the characters of this army and there is a really good selection of them for this force. Uh, we've got six brilliant Primaris characters, including the man, the legend, Shrike himself. Um, so let's jump in and have a look. The whole project has been completed by Michael, one of the artists here at Siege. Uh, we'll start right at the front with this awesome, awesome some Phobos Lieutenant um, that's had a little bit of a change uh, in the sense that he've had a uh, they've had a Corvus pattern helmet put on the body rather than the bare head. Um, really, really cool. Uh, obviously, just change of uh, sort of head on this miniature, uh, just in keeping and in fitting with the uh, the Raven Guard use of the Corvus pattern armor. Um, again, he's obviously got all the little extra details like the knives, the purity seals, and everything you'd expect on a sort of stealthy kind of Phobos pattern marine. Um, obviously, got a really cool sort of uh, carbine bolt gun there. Um, do love the little sort of totems, like for example, the little claw just uh, that's been put on the front of the gun as well, just to sort of marry up that uh, sort of Raven Guard iconography through the miniature. Got all the leather work done with a nice amount of highlighting uh, through various stages uh, just to really sort of show that it's weathered and old. Uh, again, all that text there on the purity seal, as you can see. All the transfers done across the force uh, also. Uh, so yeah, a really, really nice uh, sort of set of details on him. All the little radio bit on his chest with all the little lights and blips and things all fully painted as well. As for the uh, the basing across the whole army, which we'll see on all these miniatures, it's kind of like a, an earthy marshland kind of uh, basing style and sort of scheme, which really complements quite nicely and makes the black miniatures just stand out ever so nicely. Um, again, lots of little lenses and things painted in the green just so they really stand out and contrast nicely to the black sort of obsidian coloured armour. So that's just the first of the characters. We have another Phobos Lieutenant here, but in a bit more of a dynamic pose, um, with obviously one of the Raven Guard heads from the uh, upgrade pack, or the Primaris upgrade pack, um, just obviously about to impale someone there with his combat knife, which is really cool. Do love the dynamic pose on this chap. Uh, just really looks like he's uh, about to give someone a very, very bad day. Uh, but also little, little details, like for example, the uh, sort of screens on his wrist, all the little buttons and dials all fully painted. Uh, again, same with the purity seals, all with text on, as you'd expect with us here at Siege. I like the smoke as well, like a uh, sort of smoke grenade that he's just chucked down. Uh, really nice, subtle grey tones on that smoke. Um, and then you've got all these extra little trinkets and details, like the, the, the sort of feathers and skulls and the Corvid Ace skulls and things, which are really, really cool. Uh, and including little buttons on the wrists and things as you can see they've all been done uh, so just a really really awesome primaris lieutenant we then have um a phobos captain uh, that's the same again has had a, a head swap just so he's got a raven guard head on him uh you've got all the little screens dials on these little friend here all fully painted and then the adding of totems onto there just so you've got that raven guard narrative that's just been added on there also um again all purity seals across the this force and mentions all painted with text and everything um Michael's done a really nice job on this uh, sort of urban sort of uh, camouflage on all the cloaks that you'll see. Um, really fits in nicely and uses those grey and white tones just to complement the black quite nicely. Um, you can see all the really, really super sharp highlighting on all the armour of the miniatures also. Um, again, all the little screens, everything done in greens just to really make those stand out. The occasional lens, like for example his bionic eye, done in red, uh, just to denote that and separate that from the rest of the sort of optics and things that are on the miniature. Uh, and that is the really, really cool Phobos Captain. Then we've got uh, a Phobos Librarian. This army is bringing all of the stealth, uh, stealth with it, with these uh, Phobos um, sort of members. Uh, the Librarian, again, in his regal blue, really, really lovely sort of uh, royal blue, very rich colourway, which works extremely well. Again, the uh, camouflage pattern being that camo really complements the, the sort of vibrant, saturated blue that is across the miniature. Um, the Force Weapon, again, with the lovely blend from dark to light on the sword, just in showing that sort of enthusing power that's going through the sword. I do really, really really like the um, the sort of filigreed rune that's on the blade. Uh, really ties back to the sort of second edition sort of librarians that you see. Uh, all the little buttons and dials on the sword all painted and the power cables done in a lovely red. 
you can see he's got uh, more sort of Raven Guards, sort of runes and totems and sort of Corvidae skulls and feathers just on his backpack. Mike's done a great job of scattering those through the force just to continue that sort of Raven Guard flair and feel that you'd expect on this force. Uh, so that's this awesome, awesome Fabos Librarian. And he's got uh, the glowing eyes as well, which just really, really shows that sort of etheric power flowing through him. Uh, so that's just him. Uh, and then we'll have a look at the uh, Primaris Chaplain. Uh, again, really, really cool. I, absolutely, I think this is going to be a very iconic miniature as the years progress but you've got all the little details loads of text on those huge long tasseled ta uh, sort of uh, purity sort of scroll things hanging down from his sort of upper sort of collar uh, again all the leather work with loads of detail painted on it lots of texture his uh, his cape obviously with all the leather and scratches done on it also all the bone work with various stages of highlighting um, if we move around the back you can see obviously that uh, texture and detail that's been added to the leather the cloak that he's got uh, and then you've also got um, the feather and sort of little totems from the Raven Guard upgrade sprue just also included on him again scat that lovely scattering of just uh, chapter heraldry and chapter icons across this range of miniatures and then last up but by no means least at all whatsoever we have the man the legend the rubicon past um, shrike a really really awesome awesome model um, in a very sort of uh, commanding landed pose which is just brilliant um, you can see again with all the little details that are come inherently with his miniature you got the feathers, the claws, and all those things that you'd expect, obviously, with Shrike. Uh, these awesome, awesome sort of uh, lightning claw sort of esque things that he's got. Um, they, they do could look like lightning claws, but they're a little bit more reserved, I think. And I like the way that the the glove has also got like a actual hand that you can use. Um, obviously, one hand is retracted and one hand isn't, which is a really nice little feature and uh, just shows how they actually work, which is quite cool. Uh, moving around the back, you can see uh, all the jump pack and everything all fully done. He's obviously got a Corvus pattern helmet, as you'd expect. Uh, with him and I do like these sort of stabilizing claws uh, that he's got on the back of his uh, of his feet and uh, Mike's done a really nice little detail here on the inside of this kind of like ruined bunker you've got that huge sort of poster scroll thing with all text and stuff done on there uh, just adding that rich deep 40k narrative onto the uh, the base of this miniature also you can see obviously the purity seals here have also got the, all the text and everything added to them uh, just again a very very clean miniature all fully highlighted through various stages even the hair's got a subtle bluish tinge to it as well which just works extremely well uh, but overall a really really lovely lovely model to lead this raven guard force and that is all the characters from this incredible army commission which you had the pleasure of working on So up next we have all of the infantry from this force and there's four great squads, a uh, really nice selection of miniatures. We've got 30 intercessors and then we have 10 hell blasters. Also um, starting from the front you've got the 10 hell blasters uh, and Mike's done a great job again using that awesome obsidian raven guard colour scheme. We'll just look at the sergeant, for example, to start off with first. Uh, but again, a really, really awesome, awesome miniature. Uh, all the little details painted on him, text on the purity seal, a little Corvidae kind of skull inside a symbol there. We've got a lovely little um, sort of uh, uh, raven head here as well, just in a white, which looks really, really cool. Um, you've got the nice subtle blue glow on all the plasma um, plasma weapons in these squads, plus obviously all the weathering on the leather and things of the pouches, which just works extremely nicely. Just him pointing over there to go and kill that. Um, <laughs> but again... We just pull forward some of the regular sort of uh, hell blasters so you can see these guys again all the text on the purity seals all the little symbols here you've got the explosion symbol for a heavy unit um again every little trinket and sort of detail you've got the nice little raven sort of uh, feathers uh, just uh, the additions from the upgrade sprue just put onto the onto them also um again really really super super clean highlighting on all the black armor just giving it a lovely lovely finish uh, so that's just some of these hell blasters you've got little lights on their wrists all fully painted the lenses on the guns also done uh, pour a few more forward so you can have a look at them you've got a lovely plasma go that's very subtle blue glow on there uh, not too crazy with the osl he's not a disco he's just uh, he's just got a, a sort of subtly glowing weapon which is really really cool um, you've got a lovely white aquila all painted super cleanly on the chest of these guys as well um, so that's just the uh, the 10 hell blasters then we move back to have a look at some of these awesome intercessors uh, again this awesome sergeant using loads of the uh, raven guard upgrade pack here you've got obviously this bolter here um, with these feathers and things just on the end and you also got the little trinkets and things just on the shoulder pads uh, and on the backpack he's got loads of little corvid uh, skulls just on his armor purity seals again all fully highlighted and picked out with text 
You've got one of the Raven Guard heads here as well from the upgrade pack with these lovely, lovely Vidal Sassoon haircuts. Uh, just a really, really cool uh, sort of pose, just firing away with a pistol while uh, he's uh, got the bolter stowed. Um, and then we've uh, have a look at a few more of these guys here from the Intercessor squad. You've got this guy here with uh, just firing his bolt rifle. Again, all the little lights on the wrists of the armor, the lenses on the gun, all fully painted. Uh, just to really uh, sort of pick out all those little intricate details that you'd expect. Even the little lights on the back of the legs as well, just all fully painted across all of these miniatures um, and I'll just pull through a scattering not select any many models specifically just pulling through a random selection of models from each unit just so you can see the consistency of all of these intercessors together again all the lenses painted there as you can see the little skulls and things just added to the rifle and Mike's done a really nice job throughout this whole entire army of adding all the little details onto the models um, so just a really really lovely finish on all of them move back to the uh, second squad here uh, of incessors just pick him out let's just get that to focus for you guys apologies uh, just advancing and firing there again all the little details painted a uh, little hand sort of uh, sort of claw there just added on to his uh, his waist a little trinket that he carries with him uh, pull forward the sergeant I always like showing off the sergeants from squads uh, and this guy is no exception he's looking into his uh, his lovely wrist sort of tactical unit there all the screen all painted all the buttons and the lights all done again you've got that raven there just on the um, on the uh, sort of tilt shield that he's got there the white helmet didn't know obviously that he's a sergeant and then you've got the bolter here that's got the extra little trinkets added on there. Things that I do really like is obviously got an old mark pad, which is really cool, just throwing back to the older versions of Marines. Uh, and then you've also got the little lenses and lights done on these wrists. Uh, also, the little uh, light on the back of his kind of like a head surround unit or his radio unit is also painted there on the back of the head, which is really nice. Just attention to detail on that equipment that these guys do have and carry. A couple of Marines from that squad, just so you can see that unit in its uh, in absolute glory. All the uh, lenses across the front force on these uh, infantry all painted in red with a white catch light in the back of the lens and some lovely sort of gradual colors just in those lenses to show the refraction of light um, but again really super clean job on all of these awesome awesome raven guard and then the last squad at the back just so you get to see the sergeant and maybe one or two from that force this guy here with a corvus pattern helmet on that's also from the um from the raven guard upgrade pack uh, you've got the extra little details again on these waist the little trinkets and things purity seals there once again with that uh, lovely text that's added and the standard on all models that we paint here at Siege. Uh, that's just an awesome, awesome sergeant model from that unit. And then we'll pull forward one or two of these intercessors just so you can see these lovely Marines in their glory. Uh, another one of those awesome Corvus pattern sort of Primaris helmets, which just uh, slightly bigger, uh, just obviously match the scale of these Primaris models. Um, but overall a really really awesome awesome model uh, so that's just another one of the intercessors and that is all the infantry or the say the standard infantry from the force guys up next we have a whole load of uh, eliminators coming up along with some aggressors so stick around they're coming up next So after that swathe of infantry, we next have the heavier infantry of this force, which includes nine eliminators and six aggressors. Really, really nice selection of very iconic and fitting miniatures for this Raven Guard force. Um, all of the uh, eliminators are completely magnetized. Uh, and when I mean completely magnetized, they can take either the normal rifle or they can take the LAS fusillade. Uh, the sergeants can either be wielding either of the rifles or the binoculars and a bolter, for example. So um, they are completely magnetized and just to demonstrate the purposes I've got in the front three I've got uh, one with the Laz Fusilade which is again a really really cool weapon uh, all fully magnetized and interchangeable as you can see um, and the same with the rifle exactly the same the rifle just comes off and can be fully magnetized back on um, and obviously with a sergeant everything is magnetized so the arm obviously comes off and the bolter arm goes on um, the individual um, elbow joints also are fully magnetized so that they can the different the kit comes with different parts so some elbows fit rifles some elbows don't fit rifles all those kind of things so there's a lot of magnetizing involved with these eliminators, the eliminators but they are fully fully magged for the use of our client jumping straight in that really really cool uh, urban camouflage scheme uh, michael has gone to town on the whole entire set of eliminators and done that that awesome scheme on all of them um, again you can see every little lens like on the bolter on the uh, obviously on the uh, binoculars and everything all fully painted with point of light source catch light and blending which just suits extremely well in that lovely lovely green to really make those super spec ops kind of lenses and things all stand out so that's just the first sergeant uh, again you've seen obviously the magnetizing on these two chats but we'll just pull forward a few more of these eliminators so you can see them in a bit more closer detail regards to painting 
of all the beauty seals across all of them with text as you expect uh, the, the binoculars are, are all got the, obviously the green kind of glow to them and the uh, I think they're called minoculars uh, they've obviously got the green lenses on those also um, again the capes really really lovely urban scheme as I mentioned all the leather work has a lot of wear and scuffing on it as well uh, again I do really like the desaturated sort of goldy brass on the sort of expended kind of cartridges on the floor of this chap as well but you can see that really cool sort of ash waste kind of muddy basing that's been done on these also uh, but very 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 nice clean set of miniatures uh, across this whole entire force uh, pull forward a few more just a sergeant from over here so you can see this guy all the flesh work eyes and everything all fully painted uh, on the faces absolutely everything all done all the eyes and absolutely all the little bits of detail across all of the miniatures uh, sort of resplendently done across every single one so there's a nice consistency through the whole entire force whether it be an intercessor an eliminator or some of the uh, heavier stuff that's coming up later in the video um but yeah really 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 awesome set of miniatures and again very fitting for this raven guard army with all these snipers uh and sort of uh, sort of concealed location troops uh let's jump to the aggressors really really heavy hitting buckets of shots as i'm sure you guys already know uh but mike's done a great job of this obsidian scheme just doing it super super clean across all the models uh, love the red cables and the little green lights on the sort of uh, ammo hoppers here on these bolt storm gauntlets which are really really cool uh, the missiles on the backpack or the, the sort of grenades on the backpack are all done in that red also so that's just a really really nice super clean miniature the sergeant from the same front squad uh, obviously with that white helmet to denote his sergeant status uh, but just a lovely lovely set of, uh, of aggressors here to join this army also got a couple of little raven guard trinkets that have just been put on from the shoulder pads and things uh, just to really add that narrative and character of the chapter to these miniatures and um, that's a really good thing with the primaris is that they are very blank but when you start adding the little things from your designated chapter onto them you really do sort of pull them in line with the rest of your force uh, so really really cool we've got the uh, obviously the explosion kind of markings there on the pads to show they're sort of elite or heavier infantry which is cool uh, all the bones and everything little totems all fully highlighted and painted uh, through various stages which is really nice but every little sort of lens i'm mentioning and light on different weapon systems all done also uh, so that's just the last one from the front three and i'll pull one from the back just so you can see the consistency from the two units again here um got really really super super sharp and clean finish love the little lenses on the um on the side of the gauntlets just so that he can sort of point his arm and obviously see something without needing to sort of turn that way obviously he's got a bit of restriction on his head in that um in that sort of uh, uh armor that he's got which is uh, really cool so that's just this awesome awesome aggressor um up next we're going to be having a look at all of the dreadnoughts because uh, there's a lot and there uh there, there's a lot coming so check out those next So next let's have a look at all the heavy hitting parts of this force. Uh, we've got three Invicta war suits and then three Contemptors. Uh, really, really nice selection of models. Uh, half GW, half Forge World, which is a really, really nice selection of different types of units to check out. Let's pull forward the, the Invicta war suits first of all. Obviously done in the very stealthy uh, sort of obsidian colour of the Raven Guard. Uh, Mike's done a great job of picking out all the transfers and everything on these models. You've got the Raven Guard symbols plus obviously the number three for the, uh, the probably the company marking for this uh, this. Um, uh, in Victor Wall suit, uh, you can see all the pilots have had the uh, sort of Raven Guard upgrade heads included on them as well. Uh, all the lenses and everything fully painted on the launchers, all the missiles painted in nice complementary red just to really make those war heads stand out. We've got a very nice, sort of uh, old gold brassy kind of tone on some of the areas of the metal work as well. Uh, you can see a couple of little buttons and dials and things are all painted across the miniature. Um, certain areas obviously having a lot of highlighting with regards to the metal work as well. Really, really sharp highlighted on all the black sort of armoured sections uh, but again a really 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 clean model to uh, to just present for our client um, I do specifically like the little red button as well on top of one of the gear sticks it's like the button that you should never press uh, which is quite cool um, so that's just the first Invicta all three of them are exactly the same I'll pull forward uh, just to just so you can have a look at the consistency from model to model um, this chap obviously having a different sort of head uh, just with some lenses and extra sort of dials and things on there as well which is quite cool so that's just him the holstered uh the holstered heavy bolt on his hip is just really awesome uh, and uh, i do like the little uh, extra little sort of uh, uh, lights and things that uh, uh that mike's put to put attention to on the different areas of the miniature like for example on the back here you can see that also but again a really really lovely invicta or suits just to uh join the ranks of this army um we then have uh three uh contemptors all uh, fully magnetized so they have different weapon loadouts uh available uh, but we've got three contemptors we've got the carries assault cannon 
Lazcans on this front chap and then twin um, Mortis Lazcannons on the other two. Um, the full loadouts are all three of them can take carries and all three of them can take Lazcannons, which is a really nice mix up for our client. Lots of shots or lots of heavy hitting laser fire, which is awesome. So let's just have a look at one of these Contemptors from the get go. Uh, really cool. These are the Raven Guard Contemptors as well. So they have the extra sort of livery and details on them, the, the sort of the Corvidae skull on the, on the front of the chest, plus the wings. Um, you see that uh, Mike's done a great job with all the lenses and missiles and absolutely everything on these. We've got extra little totems and things on the leg that you can see just from the uh, the Raven Guard sort of iconography. There's some skull transfers, plus obviously the Raven Guard transfer that's just been put on there. That really nice use of that subtle sort of desaturated gold as well, uh, just to really add interest to certain aspects of the of the metal work, plus obviously the ammunition in the ammo hoppers on the on the carries. Again, they are all fully magnetized, so they do all change over for our client. Uh, and again, all the little lenses and things and buttons and power power sort of lights on the weapons are all done um, you've got these awesome sort of uh, top missile launchers that are fully magnetized allows you to sort of turn them wherever you want uh, so you can kind of change the pose quite nicely on these miniatures uh, so that's just one with the dual, dual carries assault cannons um, next up let's have a look at one of the uh, the mortis last cannon dreadnoughts um, this guy packs an absolute punch in firepower um, really really nice uh, and for gaming they're also a great little size so they're nice to hide behind sort of buildings and things and pop out and unleash absolute hell which is really cool um, so that's this awesome awesome secondary uh, uh, contemptor again all fully magnetized so all these last cannons do just magnetize straight onto the model which is really really cool uh, so that's just him all the lenses and everything fully painted as you can see and they're all consistent from model to model uh, so you can interchange everything really nicely on them as well which is just great uh, so that's the uh, heavy hitting units from this force guys i do hope that you've liked them the whole army is now off to go and fight for the emperor and the imperium so be sure to see it on a table very soon near you So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.